Hey guys, the FM Cafe here, and welcome back to my Juventus Let's Play here on Football Manager 2016. First of all, sorry if you can hear a hoover in the background, there's some going on in the house. Um, uh, but I've closed my door and hopefully you can't hear it. But yeah, so after the Roma game last episode, my game cut out and I'd saved before the Apple game. So the Apple game and the Roma game were basically didn't happen. Now what I did is I saved before them and holidayed over them until we got the win. Well, that was my plan, but we got the win first time on both occasions. So, um... Yes, the new result basically is that we beat Applewild 2 0. Same actually um difference between the two teams, so last time it's three one, this time it's two 0 Uh so I guess that's kind of good goal difference wise, but goal difference probably won't come into it anyway. We already qualified anyway by winning it, we qualified for the next round. But yeah, Kurt Zuma and Paul Pogba got the two goals um either side of half time and then I holiday this one against Roma. We met ended up winning three 0 So if we win on goal difference in the title and like two are affecting it, then that's gonna be annoying. Um, but this is the best way I can do it. So yeah, we won 3-0. Dybala got 2 and Bernardo Silva got the other. But I holidayed both those games. This one I played because obviously we hadn't done it. And what a game it was. I really wish I'd live combed it now. It was the most exciting match all season so far. So I'm just going to show you the goals in 2D. Um, so yeah, they went ahead through Han Jesus after Johan Kabay, who's now playing for Inter Milan, got him got a header from a free kick. But then managed to equalise about 3 or 4 minutes later. Uh, Dybala on this one, they give it away here, uh, Pogba manages to intercept, Dybala's sort of shot comes to Nagatomo. Um, eventually we build it back in, it's quite a long highlight this one I think. Uh, yeah, it's played out to Damia, he put, whips it in and Dybala just pokes it in. And yeah, that made it one all. They then went back in front just before half time, I think it was the 47th minute of the first half. Um, they played it out to the right with D'Ambrosio, I think he cuts it back in a minute to, um, or okay, it comes to, out to Guarine. Guarin. Little one two with D'Ambrosio, Guarin just smashes it in. Fantastic goal from Freddie Guarin uh, to make it two one. And then we equalise about midway through the second half, uh, as you'll see here. Dybala played it out to Damian. Damian's ball and is headed away by Han Jesus. Comes to Akadi. It's a poor ball back. Bernardo Silva pokes it to Alcazar, and Alcazar just like literally like toe punted it. He stopped and just like toe punted it in the top right corner. It's a really good goal. And then what I thought was the final highlight um, is here, and uh, I think it's going to take quite a long time to actually get to the goal. But yeah. Um, that it's Dybala who scores it, okay now, and he just hits a shot and it doesn't look like it's going in, it's quite central so you think the keeper's just going to catch it and that's going to be the end highlight, but it just goes in. And we managed to win in the very last minute um, against Inter Milan, fantastic result this one. And if we look at the table, we are 12 points clear of Napoli, they do have a game in hand uh, in their defence, but wait, yeah we're both playing today so if we win, oh and oh, does it count that we're already in the match, I've accidentally submitted the team by the way, um, so yeah that's why, that's why I say that. But yeah, I'm quite happy with the team. Uh, we've organised some friendlies, as you can see here, over the winter break. We've got quite a lot. So hopefully that can boost morale. Uh, the next game is probably going to be after that winter break. And um, by the way, I've been made in in, in the last uh, six months, so since the start of the season, I've made so many regen signings because of my extra money. And I just couldn't... I've, I think I've made about 10 so far. And I've spent... Uh, I spent as much that I only had 10 million left from about 50 million. And they're like 11 or so really good signings. The highest one is around 20 million. Uh, the next highest one after that is only like 8 million though. And um, the lowest one is, I think, like 500,000. But yeah, um, I, I basically spent it on 10 million. I was like, all right, I can live with that transfer budget without spending it. And then the board come and give me 20 more million pounds, which is ridiculous. No, I think actually it was more than that. I think, yeah, they've moved my transfer budget all the way up to 51 million pounds. So I think it was like another like 30, 40 million pounds. Um, here's a couple of regions that I've gone in for here, these three. Um, I've signed that one, I think. And I'm looking to sign more. So yeah, as you can see, uh, these these players that w uh, won't be joining straight away, obviously we've got the non-EU players thing, which is bloody annoying. But yeah, um, I'm just having a look around, see if um, we can get anyone in. I think I'm going to actually cancel this uh, Gabriel Brown one. Because uh, yeah, we do already have one South American definitely coming in. I think this will be the second one, so that will probably have to be it. Because they'll join next season, and obviously um, that'll have to be it for the season. Oh god, I hate that non EU thing. But yeah, anyway, this is going to be the team forward today's game against Torino. We've got Geron Geronimo Rulli in goal, Nick Steiner playing right back, Emery Chan, Marquinhos, and Chiellini, three centre backs, Alexandro at left wing back, Bazer and Pogba in the middle of midfield, Gabriel Barbosa on the right, and Alcacer and Dybala up front, Rajkovic, Stark, Silva, Mbolo, Otsunali, Zivkovic, Jedet. Gidetti, Gidetti, Damian, Fernandinho, Kovacic, Zuma and Bielik are on the bench. And then, yeah. Why isn't... Oh, I should have put Rugani on the bench. Oh, well. And Kolarov. Anyway, let's get into the game. Playing Torino. It's the Turin, Turin Derby. They're sitting in seventh. We are actually 15 points ahead of them. God, we're doing so well this year. I can't actually believe it. But, yeah, let's get into it. 
to apply that advice, whatever. And uh, yeah, let's just go. I want to pick off where you left la left off last. <laughs> pick up where you left off last time out. There we go. Um, as yeah, that was a fantastic late victory against Inter Milan. If we can play like that today, except you know not concede the goals, then that'd be fantastic. But yeah, uh, Alexandru now playing up to Dybala, Pogba back up to Dybala again. Okay, could we have an early chance here? I know it's quite um, well tackled and out for throw. Okay, this throw is actually going to be a thing. Nope, no it isn't. Just as he was about to start uh, coming forward and throwing it, and they were just like, nope. So yeah, <laughs> I've just I've just seen the text at the bottom and I just saw, Paolo Dybala just hit a banana shot or whatever that is. Um, but yeah, I didn't know that was a sort of thing. Um, Huth now, is that Robert Huth? Isaac Quinter? Aqua, Gnukri, fall in. Lecky, ah, Lichsteiner gets in there. Alcazar, can we break now? Barbosa, great ball. Paco Alcazar now. Alcaz that is the weirdest end of the highlight. <laughs> oh, Alcazar's picked up a knock here. Uh, I'm going to leave him out there for now, but I'll probably have to bring him off at half time or something. Lecky's just had a shot from the left wing, which uh, Ruli quite comfortably saves. Uh, he plays it forward. There's no one actually there where he's aiming, but yeah, Aqua now. Gnukri, Lichsteiner wins that. Oh, Lichsteiner again. Come on, Lichsteiner. Plays it to Paco Alcacer. Will he whip it in? Alcacer, Pogba, Barbosa. Ah, Pogba, Pogba, Dybala. Ah, damn, he's offside. Although it did end up in the back of the net anyway. Lecky now. Emery Chan with a good tackle. Gnukri, Aqua, Licksteiner. Oh, he's beaten Le Lecky and how has Hemed not scored there? Lecky with the ball. And it was a tight angle, but he really should have put that into an empty net. They've got Javi Manquio, uh, interestingly, at right back. He's uh, obviously just played for Liverpool on loan last season as their back at right back. I think he's now at Marseille in real life. Uh, parent club, Atletico Madrid. I think that's all right. But yeah, obviously he's playing for Torino now. Paul Pogba gets his customary yellow card. Um, Chiellini now with a long throw. Gnukri gets away, but Alcazar will collect it. He finds Lichsteiner. Manquillo away, back to Lichsteiner. Right back to right back there. Are away again, but it comes to Chiellini. This time playing Liverpool with Dybala. We're playing the, a lot of direct passes there. Barbosa, Alcazar! Really should have scored that. I think that might have hit the top of the bar. I'm not sure. Pogba now with the ball in. Comes back out to him. And it's blocked. And Torino could break it. Isaac Quinta. Chiellini wins a really good header. And Pogba's back there. To play it to Marquinhos. Barbosa. Round the corner towards Alcazar. Alcazar didn't really read him there. I am going to just haul Alcazar off quite early here. Um, we'll bring on Gadetti and swap uh, Dybala and Gadetti over. I want Gadetti to get back into to scoring some goals. Um, because, yeah, he hasn't in quite a while. I did actually give him a little... Um, uh, I know you're not scoring a lot right now, but I believe that you can start again. He was like, yes, I believe so too. So, um, yeah, hopefully he will get a goal today. Uh, Massa, sorry, Aqua getting a yellow card at Padelli. Pogba wins that. It comes to Chiellini. Chiellini fires it over towards Dybala. Dybala, great take down Gadetti. Ooh, you can see the confidence flowing through him as he fires that just right, uh, just wide of the uh, left-hand post. So let's go. Um, you've been unlucky so far. Okay. Okay, they're not really digging that. I'm going to say assertively, uh, you have faith. And, yeah, it's got a few good reactions. Okay, let's get into it. Uh, second half, Aqua, Fallen, Quenza, Hemed, to Nukuri. I'm not really sure how to say that. Um, but, yeah, it's just petered out now. Ruli now with the goal kick. Gadetti wins the header, but it's... Ah, Bazur manages to recover it. Alexandro. Bazur. Alexandro. Into Pogba now. Pogba. Pogba. Pogba with an early ball in towards Dybala. Comes out to Bazur. Bazur finds Barbosa. Finds Dybala! And Dybala should have done better there. You can see Channel Oglu in with the goals for Napoli. He moved um, back to, uh, to Napoli after just one season with Liverpool. I think I did tell you that. Although I'm not sure. Yeah, Lichstein get, getting away with the other card there. I think it was £20 million pounds I signed him for. So yeah, we sold him for 20 and they sold him on 17.75. That was actually, yeah, they were, he was only at Liverpool for six months. Played two games, got one assist. Wow, okay, he was a bit of a flop for them. But yeah, they managed to recoup most of the transfer fee. We didn't. We, we paid around 35 million for him in the end, wasn't it? But that was all over 48 months. But yeah, still, we've probably paid it all by now. Actually, no, it's only the third season. We probably haven't. As uh, Lecky plays Manquillo now. Aqua. Up towards Hemed. Marquinhos as well. Chiellini. Finds Gadetti. Good ball. Pogba. Alexandro. Pogba. Bazur. Bazur finds Barbosa. Barbosa. Out to Gadetti. Gadetti. Gadetti fires one at goal, but Padelli makes a good save. It's good to see him having um, the shots when when he can. <sighs> yeah, it's good for his confidence. There's a spot here that always occurs. Well, no, not sometimes. Sometimes happens that yeah, it's just a weird dark spot that goes away when the next highlight comes about. But yeah, 
don't know whether you can actually even see that. Uh, Lichtenstein now Barbosa. Finds Alexandro. Gadetti. Chiellini. Barbosa player out there. Yes. Lichtenstein. Lichtenstein comes to Pogba. Pogba hits one. Pedelli making a relatively easy save in the end um, for Torino. Lichtenstein is going to get a yellow maybe. Yeah, he gets a yellow this time. So yeah, we've got six players that are on yellows. Wow. Okay, it's time to make some subs. So we're going to haul Pogba off. No, Pogba. Um, off for... 11. Yeah, it's going to be 11. Ostinali, who somehow still wants to leave. I'm actually giving him quite a lot of first-team football. We're also going to bring Dam uh, Damian. <laughs> we're going to bring Damian. I knew I should have put um, Collar on the bench. And that's the only three substitutes that we can make. So uh, let's go on with that. Do we get... But to be fair, Torino, they haven't had a lot of chances, so I'm, I'm going to go attacking. I want this win, because to be honest, we deserve it. They've had quite a few highlights, but none of them have really led to anything. Um, so yeah, if we go on attacking, hopefully... Oh, oh my god, this time it's Levin. Whenever Damien's on the pitch, there's a penalty. Levin, Austin, I just put you on. I know you're young and inexperienced, but you should should not be doing that. And Torino, they're going to win this. This could be our unbeaten streak. God, okay, yeah, we need to... Um, we must remain invincible. This is complete bullshit. But, uh, I'm going to put you as a ball playing stopper as well. Uh, okay. Actually, no, yeah. Giannini should go there. Um, Licks China on. Com I'm going to put them on complete wing backs. Whoops. A complete wing back attack. Complete wing back attack. I right, just put them on wing. No, actually, complete wing back attack. Uh, put Bazaar on box to box. Put him on advanced playmaker attack. Um. Just put Barbosa up front with them, why not? Uh, on a Trekatista role. And yeah, I'm actually gonna put I'm gonna swap them over and then put him as Trekatista. Let's complete forward on attack, why not? So yeah, this is literally us going for it. Um we've got to try our best now because I do not want to lose that um unbeaten streak. But yeah, it looks like it might come to the end here in the Turin Dami Hemed with the penalty. It's Levin Ostinali's fault. I'm blaming him completely. I'm gonna go overload. Oh, okay, this is a chance. Ruli. Ruli fires it forward towards Gidetti. Gidetti should be winning that. Berzer at the top. Dybala. Dybala. Ah, corner. I feel like that could have been the only shot of the highlight. Dybala now. Chiellini. Marquinhos. Oh, Marquinhos, you should have scored. Okay, um, we're going pump ball in the box. Exploit flank. Shoot on sight. Uh, dribble less. Yeah, that's right. Roam from position. Be more expressive. Go route one. Uh, slightly higher. That's the, that's the highest we can go, I think. Uh... Um, use tighter marking, take more risks, never time waste, yep, that seems alright, okay, so let's go for it, Dybala now, okay, yeah, that's going to be the end, uh, okay, this is, a, this is a chance if we can get up the field, Barbosa's won it, Barbosa really, really clears towards uh, Ostinali, that's not going to get there, Bruno Perez now, Perez, Chiellini cuts out over the top, Gidetti wins the header, <sighs> who gets that, Chiellini again, what is that Chiellini, what is that pass? This is why you're not a bullwhip playing defender. <laughs> and, um, yeah, it's a corner for them now. Who is this? Bruno Perez on it. Oops, in the front post. It comes back out to him. Bazaar chases. Buz it gets in. Marquinhos wins that. Chiellini, come on, Gadetti. Come come deep and get that. Perez. Mastali. Perez. A different Perez over here. Damian wins that. Dybala, go. Barbosa. Barbosa's in. Bar what are you doing, Barbosa? Why haven't you just banged that? <laughs> Okay, this still could be a chance. Damien. Comes out to Damien. Oh, Damien's actually a former Torino, I've just realised. Uh, that's who he signed for Man United from. So he's actually played for both Torino clubs. That might be controversial. But yeah, um, Levin Ostinali. Dybala. Switches to Gadetti. Comes back to... Why haven't you gone for that, Lichtsteiner? Why haven't you just gone and got that? Okay, this is going to actually be a highlight. Chiellini. Come on. Get it in the box. Omaru away. Only as far as... Gadetti! Oh, John. <laughs> John Gadetti. And I think that's probably it. Now, Dybala... Oh, I thought it was a penalty. Oh, and Chile just got sent off. Okay. <sighs> and yeah, it does. It, and there you go. Our unbeaten run is over. This was complete bullshit. We dominated the game. Ah, oh, I'm just gonna tell him. I'm gonna say. Uh, I'm gonna say the midfielders were unlucky because I think they were. Uh, so yeah, let's go. I sent my sister to that. That's so annoying. Wow. Okay. And we've lost our unbeaten record. I really thought we could go unbeaten this season. I actually did. Um, yeah, we'll leave that to the physio. That's fine. Uh, we've played brilliantly. All that stuff. Nice, nice, nice. Chiellini. Fine him two weeks wages. 
And goal is Cadetti, yeah, well, um, Juventus manager, yeah, damn right. So, okay, yeah, his QB, whoa, he might cause, uh, he might cost quite a lot. All these friendlies have been accepted, fantastic. Chini, you need standard punishment. All right, well, this is going to wrap up the episode, guys. Uh, I apologise for the defeat, but there you go. Um, we're already through in the Champions League, so the next time I will join you will be after the winter break against Napoli, that first game back. So I'll see you guys for that one. If you have enjoyed this episode, then smash that like button. If you have any questions, put them in the comment section. If you want to see more, hit that subscribe button. I've been the FM Gaffer. See you guys next time.